is going to be a review of Luigi Cornaro's book, The Art of Living Long. Okay. Now, I found out about this book through reading um, one of Dr. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Dr. Walford's book, Roy Walford, the creator of the Cron Diet, Calorie Restriction with Optimal Nutrition, who was also the, uh, the mentor of, uh, what's his face, uh, Walter Longo, the guy that created the longevity diet recently, and the fasting mimicking diet, the vegan, basically mostly vegan fasting uh, mimicking diet. Now, this book is interesting. What Coronaro does is he shows how living a temperate life... Now, it, it wouldn't mean anything except for the fact that he lived probably to around 100, 102. The exact date of his birth and death are not exactly uh, settled. But he lived to around 100 or 102. And what makes this so interesting is that he did this by following a volume-restricted diet. Uh, now, what he does go into is he goes into... Um, going through the different foods, somewhat of an elimin like um, an elimination diet almost. He starts, uh, now remember this book was written in the 1450s, I believe. So they didn't have the technology we have now, but they did get the results we get now, uh, if not better. So what he did is he took out some foods from his diet that were aggravating to him. Um, at the age of 35, he developed health issues from partying hardy, if you will, uh, throughout his uh, younger years. So when he reached middle age at around the age of 35 or 36, he uh, took up this dietary reg uh, regime, and he started by taking out foods that did not agree with his system. Uh, he states that he took fish out and certain vegetable soups, but that these agreed with other people. Nowadays, we have allergy testing. Okay, that's the beauty of technology, is nowadays we have allergy testing and food sensitivity testing. Um, so we can see what foods disagree with us and get rid of them without having to do this uh, uh, playing with things and finding out what aggravates us and what doesn't. So from there, he restricted the volume of his food, um, and he also has a book on the sober life. Now, he did drink some alcoholic uh, beverages, but very little wine. Um, and he also ignored, he didn't, he avoided the hot, the extra hot and the extra cold. Um, so he didn't uh, take temperatures in the extreme. He took nothing in the extreme. Everything was temperate. Now, to a degree, the book doesn't go into exercise or things of that nature. But to a degree, I disagree with that. I think we do need to exercise vigorously uh, at least every other day, if not every day. Um, but again, this is before we knew what we know now, okay? So now that we know certain things from science, we can perfect this, which is essentially what the Cron diet and I think the CERT diet, the CERT, the CERT food diet, um, are basically an improvement on this initial uh, thing that was done in the 1450s by Luigi Cornaro. Um, but this dude got the results. He lived to potentially over a hundred and with no, uh, special technology or things of that nature. But now we do have technology. We can supplement. We can make sure we're not getting nutrient deficiencies while maintaining caloric restriction. Now, remember in, uh, Cornaro's day, they did not have, um, they didn't know about calories. They, they just knew about volume. So that's why he controlled volume and not calories. But when you control volume, more or less, if you're eating healthful whole foods, you're also controlling calories. So that's what that's about. I highly recommend the book to people that are interested in, um, in the subject matters, uh, living long and things of that nature. Now, what I would also like to point out is that uh, I'm, I'm going to start reading and reviewing books on physical culture. Uh, I don't think enough people review these books or read these books. So I've started, uh, obviously I already own some, but I'm purchasing them little by little and brushing up on them, um, amongst other things while COVID-19 is a buzz and it's difficult to do other things. So I'm learning about different physical culturalists and I'll be, I'll be reading the books and reviewing the books, 
the next one is going to be uh, Bernard McFadden that I do. That's a physical cultural uh, culturalist uh, in his book Vitality Supreme. But prior to that, I'm going to be doing uh, Dr. Win Wenger's book on how to improve your intelligence, which I consider to be a book on physical culture uh, because it has to do with the physical improvement of the brain through exercise, meditation, and um, eating properly and supplementing properly. So I consider that a book on physical culture, although many would not, and also it's a newer book. That book is from the 1970s, whereas the other books I'm going to be uh, doing reviews on are from a hundred years or more uh, ago, if you know what I mean. So that's all for this book. I'm going to leave links into the description or in the description to an archive of the book and other things about uh, Luigi Cornaro that people should feel free to look into. Uh, it would probably be potentially helpful. And of course, you don't have to purchase the book if you can read the archive. So that should be helpful. <laughs> okay, that's all for this video.